Hey everybody, it's Mr. Shashman and I'm back again, and this time we're gonna figure out how to excavate and awaken fossils. Which is a fun little mini-game, I've always enjoyed it. Alright, let's excavate it. We can discard sometimes, but... Once you've, um, once you've found a spectrobe, uh, a fossil, you will never, it won't be mystery anymore. And then we'll start off. These items are pretty similar to items in the DS game. Well, the rest of them are the DS game, so, but these items are pretty similar. Which, I really like how this game works. I'll just explain it as we go. You can rotate it. I have the scanner equipped, and you can scan the different items and see what they look like. See where they are. Uh, the next tool we... I'm actually going to use... No, I... Yes, you can change your tool by clicking. But we can change... I'm going to... Yeah, it's making me use the bomb. Okay. We have uh, mines that we can use to open up parts of the bomb uh, area, but the mines do... The fossil has a uh, health to it, so we want to make sure not to get rid of all of that health. The laser has a charge, and the laser... Oh my god, it's one of my favorite in this, because you can just chunk off pieces of the... Oh, come on. You can just chunk off pieces of the uh, fossil. Or of the uh, block. And we also have the hammer, which I'm not super fond of. You can uh, click a place... You click a place and you just swing your remote and hammer get rid of stuff or get rid of chunks of the fossil but I, this is my least favorite tool I'd have to say ow can I just like be done with this hammer now ah dang it this is my least ah I hate using this thing uh, to get the fossil, you don't exactly have to be 100%, but... Uh, I can't change the tool right now. I think that's dumb, honestly. The tutorial is a lot of pain in the ass stuff. I could explain it so much easier. It's making me use the hammer. My least favorite tool. It's making me use it the most. Uh, the health uh, will come in later. The more health you have, the fossil or the mineral or whatever you find... I think it's just fossil, but the more health you have for the fossil, the higher level it actually is when you awaken it, which is nice. Because sometimes you can get really high-leveled spectrums and then immediately have them join you in the fight, if you want to use them. Oh man. Come on, I don't want to use this anymore. Oh, I know what's making me do. Okay. I need to take off a lot of big chunks. Wish I had a Wii Motion Plus, honestly. Because I don't. I mean, I can borrow one, but I mean, I don't, but. And uh, sometimes swinging the Wemo doesn't do anything for me. Alrighty. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now we have the drill. Oh my, no, Anyway, the drill uh, is for a lot more precise getting rid of a lot of these chunks. So you can just kind of like. It doesn't do like that much damage at all like if you accidentally just tap it I don't like uh, holding the drill down because you know it's a nice little it's a precise tool you gotta tap it as you go alrighty let's just get some, rid of some of this stuff and hopefully get the next one sooner or later because the next tool is actually really easy for all these sm oops I heard it a little bit the next tool is actually really easy for all these small chunks. You have to, it's like you have to use everything a certain amount, except for the freaking uh, bombs. Use it once. And I honestly think the bombs are only good for excavating minerals. Let's go over the blower. This is one of the most easy things for these little chunks. You just blow off all the little chunks. It works and it's fantastic. I guess you do have to get it 100% in this game. A lot of times you don't have to, but when you get them 100%, they are also higher level. And you get ranked on it and stuff, and scored, and... Eh, C rank. Level, fossil level 2, yeah, it's not too too good, but I mean, it's worth it. Now we get to awaken these guys. Which has been... This is the only game that's different, because there's no voice command in it. Alright, the fossil should be nice and clean now. Well, now all you have to do is awaken the spectrum sleeping within. One spectrum wake-up call, coming right up! All you have to do is select the fossil you want to awaken. And this is actually... 
I mean, like, I, I, some of them I've been, Torga, uh, some of them I've been able to, uh, like, figure out. I can do them really quick, but it's kind of a crapshoot, to be honest. All right, each vector open has a melody. So basically, it's gonna show you, um, show you, uh, notes, and the notes depend on which, uh, thing you wiggle, you waggle, I guess, I don't know. Or, it's pretty much, uh, pink for nunchuck and blue for Wii mode. And a lot of times, there are some pretty fun ones. And usually, I just name them with the fossils. Like, I, it's that, you, they do have names, but once you get the names, it automatically, like, does that to them. So, I'm, I just like to name them, uh, close to what they are. Like, I, I, yeah, I like to name, like, oops, not Targa. Like Torga and stuff like that. I name them close to what their uh, little little guy's name that they get. I don't know. I think it's a it's adorable. And I you can rename your spectrobes. I'm going to go through and rename all of mine when I can. Look, Gina, we have a bouncy new child form. Regular bundle of energy. Yeah, it must be really happy to be awakened from the fossil after who knows how long. The spectrobes awakened here are automatically sent to the incubator room. From there, you can check on spectrum status and change them in and out of the Cosmo Link. Pretty neat, huh? Open the lab system and choose Spectrops to view the incubator rooms. Pretty much, uh, you can go to the incubator rooms, and you have a bunch of different rooms, and it has your, this is your battle team, search team. Don't have much on your battle team. We'll check out the incubator later. I think we're probably just going to put, um, he's a fire. They're both fire. All right. That's done for that. I'm going to take him out because he's another fire one, and I like to have different ones. Go to all spectrobes, and I think you can view the status card, change your name, discard, back out. We go to my battle team. It's basically the same kind of thing, and I am going to rename. I'm gonna rename you. Uh, like I always do. I'm probably gonna name uh, Mayo or Mayo. I don't know. I don't know. That's just it's just close to what he is. And then here we are. The big baddie himself. I, what I love naming him, I've always named him this through all of the games, so... Spikin! You don't have very much to name, or very many, very much space to name them, but... That's fine. I'm gonna go to the search team. I'm also gonna rename you, big boy. And considering you're gonna be named Koma. You're near Koma Inu, and so, why not? All right, let's get this back up a little bit. And let's get out of here. All right. Then we can switch those, but I don't have any to switch, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So you mastered using the last system yet? I have a surprise for you, another new machine. Yeah, she builds all these things crazy. It's a data machine. What does it do? It's kind of an encyclopedia on the stuff you've come across so far. Use it and learn more about spectrums, items, places, you name it. Okay, so I'll excavate, awaken, and set a lineup. Now that we have that down, let's go collect tons of fossils. Not so hot, not so fast, Hyperboy. Awakening a fossil only gets you a child form spectro. Child forms have their uses, but we're going to need some more adult forms to help us in battle. You have a point there, Gina. Only two spectros won't cut it in a tough battle. That's why I need to evolve child forms into adult forms. The only problem is the spectros here in the Kaio system are slightly different from ours back in Nanaido. So you think the method for evolving them is different? Precisely, let's go talk to Radice. Maybe he knows something of that could help us. Good idea, next stop, Radice's house. It's a lot of tutorial stuff, but it's actually very useful. These are, I mean, like, like many games, tutorials are super early and super out of the way then, and that's how this game is. Well now, I see that you have awakened the Spectro from its slumber. Well done, my young Spectro masters. In order to help Spectros grow, you'll need to feed them minerals. Minerals come from various colors and effectiveness types greatly, er, and varies greatly by type. There are also special minerals to raise attack or defense power. I recommend you try finding some. Got it. What about evolving spectrum Radice? What do you know of anything about that? Evolution, hmm? I only know spectrops have three forms, adult, child, and evolved. Child forms cannot battle, but they have they can find buried objects and minerals and other spectro fossils. They evolve into adult forms, and adult spectrobes is strong and can battle against crawl. And their final forms must be power most powerful form is evolved. Amazing creatures, really. But I'm afraid method of evolving them is only known to Spectro Masters. Perhaps you can find a clue inside the former Spectro Masters cave. Cave? What cave? It was home to the Spectro Master who lived here on Watera some 30 years ago. 
I have no doubt he knew how to evolve the Spectropes here on this planet. Look for some clues there. Spectrope Master's Cave, huh? Let's go check it out, Rollin. Right behind you, Genia. Very well then. Exit through the main gate. Follow the road. Cross sunny grasslands until you reach the Valley of Mist, where you find the cave entrance on the face of a cliff. Alright, looks like we have a... Uh, some things we need to do. Uh, if I can actually find the door! <laughs> sassy. So sassy. I have a special... Uh, I have an idea for which uh, fire guy I'm going to use. Instead of, um... The one that we just got. I mean, I like the one we got and all. I never really used him much in the previous games. Some of them are new, some of them are from the previous games. And some of them, they don't even have some of them from the previous games. Which is kind of like... Oh, I'm guessing we need to go to the blue. The bridge... Oh! You don't really want to leave the village, do you? There's cr it's crawling with crawl out there, so to speak. Yeah, but we have to go find the Spectrum Master's Cave. Sorry, but even if I did open the gate, you wouldn't get very far. Huh, what's that supposed to mean? The crawl destroyed the bridge. There's no way to cross the river. We'd like to repair it, but there's no possible with the crawl rod. Leave it to us. We'd rid those pesky crawl for you. You will? Really? In that case, hold on while I open the gate. Be careful out there. There's a crawl up by the bridge that's bigger than the rest. You should save before you leave. There's a save point on the photon drive in the center of the village. Honestly, that's that's a really good advice. I am bad at this fight. Like, out of all the fights, I am terrible at this one. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I am going to heal. Or I'm going to save. I think the blue is normally a save point or where our ship's at. I don't exactly remember. I'm going to do it just in case, because I am actually awful at this fight. It's not even funny how bad I am. Ah, yeah, the blue is a save one. Okay, cool. I think. I don't know. Save. Oh, uh, you can you can access your lab and database from here, too, but I'm not going to worry about that. All right, let's head back. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, man. You guys are going to hear the most annoying sound when I get a second child form in my inventory and keep it with me. Oh man. It is the most... I... <laughs> when I'm playing with a friend, like, that's like all I click is that sound to actually inactivate it just to annoy the crap out of them. Alright, we're here going to the Dawn Bridge. But I'll spare you guys' ears for now. And I don't even, like, try. It just kind of have a habit. Bet you anything, that's the one that took out that bridge. Hmm. Bigger than I would have guessed. Better go slow. Hey, Rollin! What are you... What's the matter with you? What'd I just say? Alright, I'll start this battle off and hopefully not alert the big guy. I've had parts where I was actually fighting, like, these guys, and I alerted that big guy, and it just... He wrecked me. Alright, there we go. Alright. I just gotta take care of these guys for the most part. And it's easier to... A lot of times it's easier to just, like, tell your Spectro what to do. And they'll fight, like... They'll fight automatically, but it's easier to, like continue telling them what they need to do. Is that a... I don't know if that was a... Oh, I leveled up again. Sweet! Yeah, the thing about this game is, uh, especially when it comes to, like, weaknesses, they don't have, like... Like, everybody has one weakness. They don't have, like, a stupid... Uh, they don't have, like, the Pokemon pyramid of weaknesses or whatever. And it looks like our... Looks like Toh! Oh, looks like Mayo wake, well, um, leveled up. And all we have to fight now is that guy. Get him, big boy. Teleport back. Go forward. When fighting bosses, since I don't have any of my real... Ah! This bitch slapped him. I don't have a lot of my uh, powerful weapons with me, so... I didn't say that. I don't have a lot of my powerful weapons with me, so it's easier... For the most part, not to fight with yourself, but fight with your Spectrobes. Okay, let's see here. Block on. Dang it! Uh, you can, like, tap, I think, Z, or... There's a way to, um, do evading, and I don't remember. 
take him out. Alright, the big guy's done for. Oh my god, my poor little baby is hurt. I'm gonna switch to Spike in while Mayo is hurt. Alrighty. We got the the battle was clear. And <laughs> no more crawl around here. That was a good workout. Let's go tell the gatekeeper. They should be able to fix the bridge now. I would do that, but I spotted something off to the distance over here. Oh, well, other than go. minerals. Okay, pick it up, buddy. These gates. There are many of them around the world, and I know we've seen go. one of them. We've seen about three of them now. And what you do is you send a child spectro that's the same element as that, and it opens the gate. This is why the little refrigerator shuffle is kind of useful. Kind of. I mean, it's very useful. Once you do that, you can come inside here. And it's an extra little cave area. There's no crawl, nothing else of that sort. But there's a little pedestal here. If you examine it... Hey, Gina, what do you make of this? I think it's some kind of stone marker, but it looks really odd. Hmm, doesn't the symbol here remind you of a spectrobe? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I wonder if it means... There, I wonder if there's some kind of connection with spectrobes we haven't figured out yet. I wish I knew what it could be. I mean, so far we haven't gotten any sort of reaction to this thing. Oh, this thing is driving me crazy. What are we supposed to do here? Go. And it looks like... Hmm... Doesn't have much of a reaction yet. I have to wait a little bit. But, just remember that you can go to those. And of course they have symbols of spectrops on them. What could that mean? Well, I mean, I know. But you guys don't know. Maybe some of you know. Who knows? This is a very... This is a game that isn't exactly... No! Don't get that! Oh, no! There it is! The Black Mineral! Black Mineral Summon Crawl! That's why I, I... That's what I was waiting to talk about. These guys are level 7. It's not too bad. Considering what level... I mean, we're all level 5. Ow, bitch! Ah, I gotta heal. Healing doesn't take, like, any time, so... If you need a heal, just do it. I leveled up, so... And so did Spikin! Which is fantastic, because... Spikin needed some levels. Go. Oh, please don't be a black mineral. Okay, okay thank you, little guy. Grab it. Grab the minerals. Go back to Haven Village. That's a very... That's a... A very, um... Presumptuous name, I'm guessing. Alrighty. Oh, you have some things to say. You got rid of the crawl by the bridge? Wow, thanks a million! You better go tell Kotetsu, the blacksmith, right away. He'll fix the bridge in no time. Now, what am I saying? I can't leave the gate unattended. In that case, we'll go tell him. Really? Thanks a bunch! Kotetsu should be in the blacksmith's shop on the west side of the village. Just look for a row of furnaces. You couldn't possibly miss it. Alright, so we gotta go fig gotta go find this Kotetsu person. A strange barrier. Ooh. Yeah, it is a very Kingdom Hearts-esque kind of game style. Oh, my friends, good to see you again. Kotetsu, the crawler gone. Do you think you could fix the Dawn Bridge now? Fellows and buzzards, excellent work, my friends. You leave the bridge to me. There's just one thing I have a favor to ask you while I make repairs. My apprentice, Gumark, went, on, went to the excavation site behind the village but hasn't returned. Something tells me he's in trouble. After all, he's never disappeared like this before. Would you go find him? You can count on us. Let's go find him, Gina. Roger that. Find Kotetsu's apprentice. Well, before we go do that... Uh, I say we save, and uh, this is all the time I'm going to have for this episode. Next time we'll go find Kotetsu's apprentice. This is going to be Mr. Shishimo, and if I can get to the save point before I say, signing off. <laughs>